A popular Houston DJ is sitting in jail right now for the murder of one third of the Migos. A shocker to many out there, none other than DJ Pat was taken into custody this week on charges in the murder of Takeoff, the shooting that happened over a month ago during a private bowling party following a pretty high profile dice game reportedly that Takeoff was not involved in, nor the fight that happened right after said dice game. Simply, according to law enforcement officials, Takeoff was in the wrong place and wrong time. How we got to DJ Pat's arrest is quite interesting. Law enforcement officials say phone records, license plates, video evidence, and maybe the biggest shocker in all of this, according to law enforcement officials, DJ Pat was seen on video shooting a gun with his hand on a wine bottle. Said wine bottle was left at the scene of this incident. And obviously the DNA was matched to DJ Pat's. His D DNA was already in the system for something else previously. So that's how we got to the arrest of DJ Pat. Apparently Pat was trying to leave the country. He got approved for an emergency visa and appears to have likely been headed to Mexico. He's now locked up on a $2 million bond. It is worth noting that prosecutors have insisted that Pat not talk to anyone in Takeoff's family. Obviously, he's the victim. But also, a pretty known boxer, Shakur Stevenson, and Jay Prince or Jay Prince Jr., not 100% sure which one, but the Prince family pretty much, has been told to stay away from and have no communication with DJ Pat. If you remember, Jay Prince Sr. did release a statement a few weeks back addressing this tragic situation for so many different reasons. Jay Prince Sr. said the Prince family would like to send our condolences to the family and friends of a beautiful soul in Takeoff. To Houstonians and families around the world, this one breaks my heart because Takeoff was a brother, a son, a role model, and a God-loving human being. Grief is the price of love, a bill people from across the globe are paying right now as we mourn this loss. Jay Princey said, I've been knowing Takeoff, Quavo, and Offset for many years, and there has been nothing but mutual love from one another, and that ain't going to ever change where we are concerned. This should have never happened. This shouldn't have ever happened in our city, and this shouldn't have been recorded. And this damn shouldn't have been circulating across social media for family, friends, and fans to see. As I write this, I'm angry about the lack of love and respect we have for one another as a race, which keeps bringing us back to the same tragic place of black on black killing. They say Satan is the author of confusion. And right now there are a lot of lies and false narratives being spread by media whores. I consider myself a man that's quick to listen and slow to speak. Therefore, I'm to whomever is responsible for putting that bullet in my little nephew's head, let it be known that you can't hide behind me, beside me, or anywhere near me because I don't tolerate dumbish. I speak these words not knowing whose bullet is responsible for his death. With that being said, the root of this tragedy is foolish and has to be owned by the fool. I will sum this up by saying a gun in the hands of any human that closes his eyes to shoot and doesn't have the proper skills of operating that gun is dangerous and the results usually end with innocent people who had nothing to do with the altercation being shot or killed to the homies in georgia and around the world that got love for takeoff like we do know this let's change the narrative in our culture by putting an end to every argument or disagreeing resulting in violence it's okay to live and let live to see another day rest in peace to take off again um i can only speak from my platform this is pharaoh speaking here i still live by the rules of innocent until proven guilty not guilty until proven innocent you know you say what you want about the the, the man that's been charged with the murder of takeoff he deserves his right to trial he deserves to fight for his innocence and i'm sure more information will come out that either proves DJ Pat's guilt or proves DJ Pat's innocence, all right? So let's give him just that. Prayers to Takeoff's family. He 
didn't deserve that. A lot of people are still messed up over that one. And that is all I got. That's an update. There is someone in custody right now for the murder of Takeoff. Time, love, and support is what we would never take for granted. Again, continue to rest in paradise to take off.